Joshua Wade is asking us uh, what hats are good for semi-formal or formal Highland wear. Are Highland bonnets or Scotch bonnets acceptable for formal occasions? It's all you, Chief. It's all I am me. Not, I am not the hat guy. It's all me. I'm a hat guy. Just kick back. Um, Light of smoke. Relax. If you if you want to if you want to actually it's not live on YouTube. He has a separate clip, but there's a bit we did where I actually made Rocky wear some cowboy hats, and it's pretty funny. Um, hats are not usually considered to be a formal thing, um, at least not in the modern age. So. Um, Absolutely, if you want a hat which is going to look proper with Highland attire, um, you're going to want to go with a, a true bonnet, Balmoral, Glengarry, you know, one of those standard types. Um, they're not really considered part of a formal kit for a civilian because they are something you wear outdoors. You do not wear a hat indoors if you are a gentleman. Um, therefore, you're not going to be wearing a hat in most instances where you're wearing a formal outfit, which usually is um, indoors and very often in the evening, you know, after six. Um, so if you wanted a formal look for, say, an outdoor wedding, I guess, um, and people are saying, yes, we're going to have uh, a formal Prince Charlie type wedding, but we're doing it in the Rose Garden, um, and you wanted to have a hat, then I would definitely say you should go for either a Glengarry or uh, a Balmoral. I would not go for a... Uh, uh, a bonnet in the sense of a more of the traditional bag shape untailored uh, Scottish bonnet um, because it just looks floppy it looks messy um, usually when you're anytime you're talking about formal dress the more crisp it is the more angular it is the more formal it is so a, uh, a Balmoral or a Glengarry something like that the two standard types again which are famous because of bagpipe uniforms um, will do best for a formal-ish looking hat, but are hats considered a piece of formal attire? Not really. Um, parade attire or representational attire, I would say, like, you know, certainly a, a, a Balmoral with tweed, um, you're going to see that all the time. Like, if you, you can easily imagine a clan chief at a clan gathering, you know, you know, you know, trotting about the field with his Balmoral with his eagle feathers and everything, and it looks very formal, looks very official, but it's not formal in the sense of tuxedo. I wouldn't even call it, like, in, in the true definition of formal or semi-formal. Yeah. I wouldn't, it's, it's smart emblematic. Yeah, it's, it's, it's symbolic, it's, it's uniform, but it's not formal. Yeah, it's, it can look nice, but it's right. not semi-formal by the true definition. Right. Or formal by the true definition. It's just... It's it's smart day wear. It's it's sharp dress. Right. It's it's the bee's knees, um, mm -hmm. but it's not formal. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, it's it. That'd be my advice if you if you are an occasion where for some reason you need to have a hat and look formal, but it's uh, strictly speaking, I cannot imagine somebody wearing a Glengarry with a Prince Charlie and no. a and a and a it would just look fly blade. I'm 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 even going back to like the. Uh, uh, the, <clears throat> the 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 catalog photos of when you know in the 20s and 30s when the Prince Charlie came out yep. like the the yep. the mail order catalog stuff and I can't remember any of them having any kind of correct headwear it's right. just they'll you, you can I can see images and photographs of people in with headwear in tweeds during the day tweeds but, yes but yes but especially I'm thinking of one catalog in particular from the 30s where. The guy's there with the slick back, wet look, 1930s hair, and he's in the Prince Charlie, and he's got the cigarette, and he's looking very cool. But Did it have the like the extender thing on it? No, nah, no, nah, just you know, just okay. he's got the cigarette. But the point is, it's he's in evening attire. The Prince yeah. Charlie, the Prince Charlie Cote is evening attire, so he's not wearing a hat. So, yeah, that's basically it. Black tie or white tie, I would not recommend wearing a hat. Nah, it's, you don't need to. Yeah, it's just not part of it. Even if you're bald and ugly like me, it's fine. Yeah, you look better without a hat. Yeah, you want to, you want to go you want to go to the next level. Instead of your hat, invest some money in some white kid gloves. Do that with your formal outfit. That will knock it out of the park. Fancy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> your your date will love it at least. She'll now, be all about it. My next the next show. I'm just gonna like I'm gonna dress like this with a pair of white gloves. Do you own a pair? I can get a pair. It's it's either that or I go one glove, 
Rhinestone, Michael Jackson. <laughs> the Jackson Tartan. Exactly. I actually own two pairs of white kid gloves. I think I bought a pair for Adam when he was taking photos, so when he touched the metal stuff, it didn't That's not kid, though. That's <sighs> cotton. Ah, shucks. You know, kid, oh, kid, kid, like soft leather. Yeah. Like, like... Yeah, goat. leather. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Interesting. That's so, you do not, that's so you do not get oils on your uh, your date's dress. That's the whole point of those gloves, was to keep you from getting schmutz on the very expensive gown of the lady you were escorting. Good to know. Yep. I don't have that problem. Don't get him any fancy things. Yeah. And you're not a ballroom dancer either. Next question. I cut a rug, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that I know. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. But I've seen it with my own eyes. <laughs> we went to a, uh, here, here's a random story. We went to, as a as a company, you remember, we went to the Real Mackenzie's? Oh, God, that was awesome. <clears throat> Silversville Theater. That was, that was a hoot. And uh, uh, I was out there dancing, and they were they were in the back <clears throat> videotaping me. Like, ha ha, we videotaped you. Like, we're going to use this for blackmail. I'm like, in order to blackmail me, I have to care. I don't care. That said, if I can never find that footage, I'm putting it in this episode. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to find it as a long time. Yes, ago. exactly. <sighs> okay. The old Axl Rose, the hit movement with the kilt on. Go. Oh, yeah. good stuff. There you go. 